The focus on the next four videos will be on looping within PHP. Now looping allows us to repeat code as many times as is necessary and there's four basic loop structures within PHP. We have the while loop, the do loop, the for loop, and the for each loop. This particular video is going to focus in on the while loop and I do not need to use any of the code from the previous lesson so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and give myself a little space here to write some code. So we're going to go ahead and construct the while loop. Now there's a couple different things that we'll need within a particular loop and some things to point out. One of them is I need a counter that makes it so that the loop does not repeat the code forever. And I usually call my variable counter that I create for that. So we'll start off with just creating a variable and we'll call it counter and I'm going to set it equal to 1. Alright, so now let's go ahead and start our while loop. Our while loop is a lot like the if statements within PHP where we have a, a condition that we test to see if it's true. We're going to do that here as well. And while that condition is true, the loop is going to run as many times as possible or it's going to continue to run until that condition is no longer true. And so what we're going to do is, and the reason why the counter is there is because we're going to make it so that we're going to base it on our counter, our condition. And so if the counter is no longer in a valid true expression, then the, the loop will stop. And we'll, we'll talk about that as we go through. So let's go ahead and say while, and I'm going to need the parentheses very similar to what we did on the if statement. So while, and let's just go ahead and say dollar sign counter is less than 10. We'll go ahead and put that. And at the moment, counter is 1, and 1 is less than 10, so we're okay. Now what I'll need to do is use the curly braces again, very similar to a lot of our structures within PHP, to be able to write the code. Now everything that's going to fall within the opening and closing curly brace is going to execute whenever this condition is true, which means currently the condition is true, so we can go ahead and do something. Let's say I'm just going to do a simple echo statement. We'll echo out dollar sign counter. Alright, now I've got a problem with this, and the fact is that it's going to run an infinite amount of times. In fact, if I save it and refresh my page over here, I want to point out, if you take a look at localhost, it's going to continue to keep cycling through over and over and over again. Now, what I've got here is an endless loop that will never quit because for infinity, it's going to be um, 1 is always going to be less than 10, and so this loop is going to continue to run over and over again. What it what is called is an iteration. Basically, what happens is when we run through our code, when we get to line 6, we set the variable 1, our variable counter is equal to 1. Then we ask the condition on line 7, while the counter is less than 10, which is currently true, do this loop. And what it does is it runs through to the end of our loop and then it cycles back up again and checks to see if the condition is true. And the condition is still true. 1 is still less than 10, so it's going to run through over and over and over and over again. And it's going to keep uh, continuing its iteration over and over and over again until we can find something to quit or stop this loop. And so this is where we're going to use the counter to stop the loop. And you can see that it's still cycling through over and over and over again. I'm going to hit stop on my page. Try to stop that and it should stop here. We're going to go ahead and come back over here while that's trying to stop and we're going to go ahead now and give ourselves a way to get out of this loop so it's not endless. I'm going to go ahead and type in the dollar sign counter and we're going to just do the um, incrementing plus plus which means it's going to increment by one every single time. If I save my page now and refresh it, let's see if I can refresh this page. It may take a few times to refresh it, but I finally got this to re refresh and stop that endless loop that was there. And I've got an error on line 10, which is telling us that it's expecting one of these. However, we have one in there, and I can, if I look up a line before that, I can kind of see where the error is. And I forgot to put a semicolon in there. So let me go ahead and save the page and then refresh it. And you can see that here's what it did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it went through on the counter, and let me explain how this works. So while we went through the counter, the first time it was 1, and 1 is less than 10. So in this particular iteration, it's going to go through and echo out the counter, which is currently 1. Then it's going to increment counter by 1, and then it's going to start the cycle all over again to test to see if it's still true. And 2 will be less than 10, so it'll run through again, and then 3 will be less than 10, then 4, then 5. So it kind of loops around every single time. When 9 comes through here, 9 will increment, we'll echo out 9 here, 9 will increment to 10, it'll check up here, and 10 is not less than 10. So at this point, it's going to go ahead and quit, and you can see that it stopped at 9. When it's no longer valid, it skips down to line 11. So it'll be at the end of my um, loop itself, and so line 11 won't 
will execute, which is just the end of my PHP code, and then the end of the page. And so this is why we only see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I go ahead and just add an echo statement after this, we can just say echo, and I could say, you have finished the loop. And I'll go ahead and save the page and refresh it again. And you'll see that I went through all through here, and it says now you have finished the loop when it comes to the end. In fact, if I want to dress it up a little bit more, I could go ahead and echo a break tag in there, echo And then hit save and refresh, and you'll see. Let's see what did I do here? I forgot the quote. Put that in there. Save, refresh, and you can see now that I put it one on each individual line. And when it gets to the end of the loop, it's going to go ahead and say you have finished the loop. Now I've done incrementing here. You can also decrement it. And so let's just say that the counter was going to equal. We'll start it off as a hundred, and then we'll say as long as the counter is greater than, we'll say greater than one. And then we're going to, instead of increasing it, we'll decrease it. I'll just use two minus signs here. And then when it's finished, it'll say you finished the loop. So if I save it, it's going to kind of do this in reverse order. You can do it in both. You'll see it starts at 100 and works its way down all the way through the numbering, all the way to it gets to 2. And then it doesn't display 1 because we said as long as counter is greater than 1. So I could also do something like greater than or equal to. Save it. Refresh the page. And now you'll see that it's greater than or equal to will allow us to do one as well. So it'll run through as long as it's equal to one, but it won't show anything below one. And so this is just kind of reversing the order. You can do it in both ways. You can use it to increment, you can use it to decrement. It just depends on what it is. The really core part of this loop is the fact that you need to have some kind of counter, and I just called the variable counter, but you need to have some kind of counter that's gonna either increment or, or decrement so that the loop will eventually end. Otherwise, you'll have a continuous loop. But with that said, this is the basic construction of the while loop here within PHP.